Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Clare College of Engineering, Trichy. This is another lecture on the solution to the gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering subject. And this lecture, we discuss questions in the subject fluid mechanics and machines in the topic laminar flow. So, this is lecture number 59. We take few problems in the laminar flow. Uh, this is laminar flow part 4. The solution and discussion for gate question papers. The first question is from gate 2014 question paper. Water flows through a 10 millimeter diameter and a 250 millimeter long smooth pipe at an average velocity of 0.1 meters per second. The density and the viscosity of the water is 997 kilogram per meter cube and 855 in 10 power minus 6 newton second by meter square respectively. Assuming fully developed flow, the pressure drop in the pipe is dash pascal. So, the pressure drop for the laminar flow in a smooth pipe, it is given by P1 minus P2 equal to 32 mu u bar L divided by d square. So, mu is the viscosity and u bar is the velocity, length L is the L length and d is the diameter. So, 32 into 855 into 10 power minus 6 into 0 0.1. into 250 divided by 0 0.01 square. So, this equal to 6840 Pascal. So, the answer for the problem, the pressure drop equal to 6840 Pascal. Next question from 2015 question paper. For fully developed laminar flow of water, the dynamic viscosity is 0 0.001 Pascal second through a pipe of radius 5 centimeter. The axial pressure gradient is minus 10 Pascal per meter. The magnitude of axial velocity at radial location of 0 0.2 centimeter is dash meters per second. So, the answer to the problem, the average velocity. So, dp by dl, the pressure gradient is given by 22 mu v average divided by d square. So, pressure drop is minus 10 Pascal second, Pascal per meter. So, 10 into th is equal to 32 into 0 0.001 into average velocity divided by 0 0.01 square. So, calculating the average velocity, it is 3.215 meters per second. So, the velocity at the given radius, given for V r equal to V max into 1 minus r by r square by capital R square. So, r, r is the given radius and uh, capital R is the outer radius of the pipe. So, 2 into V max equal to 2 times of average velocity. That is the that is the condition. So, 2 into V average into 1 minus R square by capital R square. So, substituting V R velocity at the given radius 2 into 3.125 into 1 minus 0 0.2 square divided by 5 square is equal to 6.24 meters per second. So, the velocity is 6.24 meters per second is the answer to the problem. The next question paper from gate 2015 question paper, the head loss for laminar incompressible flow through the horizontal circular pipe is H1. The pipe length and the fluid remaining the same. Pipe length and the fluid properties are remaining the same. If the average flow velocity doubles and the pipe diameter reduces to half of its previous value, the head loss H2 the ratio of H2 by H1. So, we have to calculate two head loss. One is head loss for the laminar incomes flow through your circular pipe and the another one where the average flow velocity doubles and the pipe diameter reduces to the half of the value. So, the answer is 8. We will see how in the next slide. For laminar flow, HF is 32 mu VL divided by rho G D square. So, the head loss due to friction so, we take constant. So, combine all the unknown value. We make it as a constant. Velocity and the diameter. These are all the deciding parameter. Velocity and the diameter. Now, the velocity V2 equal to 2 times of V1 and diameter D2 equal to half of the previous value D1. D2 equal to D1 by 2. Now, substituting HF1 equal to C by V1 by D1 square. HF2 equal to C into V2 by D2 square. So, which is 2 times of V1 divided by 0.5 square into D1 square, which is 8 times of HF1. So, HF2 equal to 8 times of HF1. So, HF2 by HF1 equal to 8. That is the answer to the problem.
The next question from 2016 question paper. Consider a fully developed steady laminar flow of an incompressible fluid with a viscosity mu through a circular pipe of radius r. Given that the velocity, of, velocity at the radial location of r by 2 from the center line of the pipe is u1, the shear stress at the wall is k mu u1 by r, where k is a constant. We have to find out the k. So, the shear stress is given by k mu k u1 r. So, in that equation, we have to calculate what is k. So, the answer is 2.66, k equal to 2.66. So, we will see how in the next slide. The wall shear stress is given by tau equal to minus dou p by dou x into r by 2. For the velocity of the pipe u equal to minus r square by 4 mu dou p by dou x into 1 minus small r square by capital R square. Velocity at the given radius small r equal to capital R divided by 2. So, this is equal to u equal to minus r square by 4 mu dou p by dou x. This into 1 minus r square divided by 4 times r square. This is equal to minus r square into 4 mu dou p by dou x into 3 by 4. Now, the dou p by dou x equal to 16 mu u divided, uh, sorry, 16 u mu divided by 3 r square. That is the pressure drop. The wall shear stress for the laminar flow, how you equal to minus dou p by dou x into r by 2, which is minus 16 mu u mu divided by 3 r square into r by 2. Now, so we simplify tau equal to 16 mu r divided by 3 r square into by 2. This is given in the problem k into mu u divided by r. So, simplifying, uh, deleting the mu numerator u and mu and denominator r, so we will get k equal to 8 by 3, which is 2.66. So, 2.66 k equal to 2.66 is the answer. The next question from 2019 question paper, water flows through a two different pipes A and B of the same circular cross section but different flow rate. The length of the pipe A is 1 meter and that of pipe B is 2 meter. The flow in the pipe, both the pipes are laminar and fully developed. If the frictional head loss across the length of the pipe are the same, volume flow rate QB by QA is dash. So, we have to calculate frictional head loss across the length of the pipe for the flow rate QB by QA is dash. The answer is 0 0.5. We will see how in the next slide. So, A equal to A, area of the pipe A equal to area of the pipe B. So, diameter of the pipe A equal to diameter of the pipe B. Length of the pipe A equal to 1 meter, length of the pipe B equal to 2 meter. The head loss due to friction. So, HF equal to P1 minus P2 by rho G. So, 32 mu u bar L divided by rho g d square. So, 32 mu L divided by rho g d square. So, substituting for velocity, it is q by pi by 4 d square. And it is 128 mu L q by rho g d to the power 4. So, hf is proportional to length into discharge. So, we are given length and the discharge. They are the determining parameter, length and the discharge. For pipe A and B, HFA by HFB equal to LAQA by LBQB. So, we have HFA equal to HFB. So, QB by QA equal to LA by LEB, which is 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5. So, we have to find out the ratio QB by QA for the problem, which is LA by LB, which is 1 by 2 equal to 0 0.5. That is the answer to the question. Next question from GATE 1998 question, 1988 question paper. A 0 0.2 meter diameter pipe, 20 kilometer long, transport oil at a flow rate of 0 0.01 meter cube per second. Calculate the power required to maintain the flow if the dynamic viscosity and density of the oil are 0 0.08 pascal second and 900 kilogram per meter cube. So, we have to calculate the power. So, diameter is 0 0.2 meter, length equal to 20 kilometer, which is 20,000 meter. Discharge equal to 0 0.01 meter cube per second and uh, the absolute viscosity is 0 0.08 pascal second. Density equal to 900 kilogram per meter cube. The velocity of the flow Q by area uh, 0 0.01 divided by area pi by 4 d square. So, pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square equal to 3, 0 0.318 meters per second. And the head loss due to friction which is HF equal to 32 mu u bar L divided by rho g d square. 
which is 32 into 0 0.08 into 0 0.0318 into 20,000 divided by 900 into 9.81 into 0 0.2 square equal to 46.146 meter. So, the power, power required to maintain the flow P equal to rho G Q into H F. So, 900 into 9.81 into 0 0.01 into 46.146 equal to 4. 4074.2 watts that is the power required to, drive, to maintain the flow against the frictional loss. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you, can, you can read the book for your better understanding. Uh, thank you for watching this video lecture. Please post your comments. If you have any queries, you contact me. I will answer to your queries. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution in the gate question paper. Until then, bye.